force a lot of turnovers, but they have to do it in this game. They want to be able to get Alaska in a transition game, get the, get, give a chance for the crowd to get involved in the game, and they've been successful when they get on the open court. Next up, they have to utilize their bench all throughout the series. Uh, this team has outscored the bench of the other team and that's because they just have a deeper bench let's face it but then you have to utilize it those guys coming out of the bench should be prepared should be prepared to play should be prepared to score and just to be prepared to do all the positive stuff for their team and finally they just have to be aggressive we talked about this at the top of the coverage that free throws wise Ginebra San Miguel in the two losses only nine attempts Napakababa nun. Yep. Pero nung sumunod na, games 3 and 4, they averaged 28 attempts. That's triple the number of attempts they had in games 1 and 2. If they start attacking, they can really make use of the God-given athletic abilities of so many of those players in that Hinebra lineup. Well done, Jason. And it's a matter of now, yung parang kung itatagalugin natin, na paghugot, produce. Produce. Uh, it's going to be interesting if Alaska decides to stretch its bets just a little more here tonight, given what has happened in the last two games. As you take a look at the ten gentlemen who will begin this ball game. And the three other men who will join them will wear 57, 59, and 74. They are Aldaba, Herrera, and Maurillo. Coach Joe Michigo going with that same five that uh, started the last game and uh, gave them the victory. Actually, the same five that uh, gave them the victory in game three and game four. All these fans, 20,000 strong, 20,026 in fact, joining you. San Marinara Roan, Sabansa Natin, two bit fires and connects. You know, last night I was in Cebu. They were all asking about this game if we were covering it. And they asked us um, what the game was going to be like. And this is going to be followed. Just like the first game earlier that went into overtime. Our flight was delayed. Delayed, huh? Para yung coverage natin. Na-delay tayo ng overtime, eh, no? Naka-ready na tayo. May flight plan at lot. But uh, we really relished that game. Uh, well fought to the very end. Held back. Now, this is a placing start by Vienebra, connecting on a three early on. That three-point shot, a major part of their ball game because they play with guards that can shoot from the outside. Usually, you want to go inside in the half-court set and shoot that three-point shot after, but so far, the three-point shot has been working in those two attempts. And maybe this is where that third point you were making about staying under control for Alaska will matter, especially when these three start dramatically going inside. As Meg gets it downstairs, wide open to it, thought about it, decided against it, hop, step, short. Thought about it too much, then Oreo. Nobody to run along with him. He says, let's try this. So Alaska is a team that, when you look at the num numbers wise, they don't seem like they run a lot, but then they're sneaky in that sense. They still <laughs> run yes, at you. Are. And if you don't go down defensively, if you don't play transition defense well, you get into trouble. A bit of a give and go, which is an adjustment actually on the play. They shoot with seven remaining, and they knock that in. It's a long two. And those three guards working well for Baranga Ginebra. They're the first three scorers for their team. And Baggio brings them within three with a rainbow. Elter Brand with Menk. Two bit. Cut by Algebra, no chance for a pass. Miller popping out top of the key, no chance for a pass as well there. Less than 10 seconds on your shot clock. Popping from right flag, Mac, it rattles out. Maggio separates the, the center line and it'll go the other way. For Cyrus Maggio, one of those guys that just, like you said, just teetering on uh, a little bit overzealous sometimes. And that time, just a uh, pass uh, being under control. Natural excitement, siguro makascore ako maaga. Well, he will score their last basket, so might as well uh, try on you. Here's Meng, driving hard, saw a bit of daylight. As a team, Ginebra shooting very well to start this game. They've been getting good looks. 
began the game on fire, led six to nothing until Tenorio hit that scooping shot of his. That is rejected. And Chiqui Reyes, who can't get enough basketball to uh, imagine playing three games in one day. Kulang pa sila ano? Kulang pa sir. Gusto ko pa. Tatlo pa siguro. Thanks, you know, I asked assistant coach Juno Soler the secret to their wins in games three and four. And he said that they didn't make any adjustments in their game plan. They just changed their starters. I'll tell you more about this game plan, Seb, when we return. Magbabalik mo PBA. Ginebra with a rejection. Back to, uh, let's get Chiki's report in total. Thank you, Sevino. As I mentioned earlier, Ginebra didn't make any adjustments in their game plan. They just changed their starters for tonight's game. Ginebra will apply the same defensive strategy, help miss matches in the post, and switch from man to zone or zone to man when needed for their offense. They want to attack the post, do their pick and roll plays, and try to get Alaska into penalty every quarter so they'll have more attempts from the free throw line. Sev, Jason? Thanks a lot. Cigarettes and uh, that's uh, the van scoring early and making it 12 to 7. But he never has to a very good start. And they're getting points everywhere. Uh, the only guy that has yet to score for their team is their import. Eric Menk's got four, and the rest of the guards really contributing right now. LA down the middle. We go, what an angle. L.A. after hitting the first basket of Alaska gets his second bucket and we're down to 7.26 here in the opening 12 minutes near Steele, completed Steele, L.A. Tenorio is gone. L.A. LA Tenorio, six points and all of them, I believe all of them have been layups and uh, that's a good sign for uh, Alaska because L.A. from the field has struggled in this series. And you were saying he could be the missing fourth man after the, those top three that we had outlined earlier. Miller wiggles open. Glass shot. And he has six of the 16. And Willie Miller has been in situations like this before. Has played a lot of do or die games. He has the experience to uh, have a good game in this sort of uh, scenario. Here's Doss providing the shield. Wide open Baguio. Won't stay down, and it's cleared up by Barangay Hineba, now leading by five. It's excellent box out from the part of Hineba. You can see that they almost formed a wall, not allowing the Aces to get that rebound. Oh, Mick with a great move, but just overshot it, and here come the Aces. The Vans. And Miller has it. Simpson, hindi pa nakahawak ang bola na maganda. It was the first half, six minutes gone by. It's like a hindi thing in for uh, a chance to go offensively. Baka yun ang pag -uusapan na last rito. And it's a full ceasefire. Let's see what uh, this game brings as we continue with the remaining 6.02 of the opening 12 minutes. Our game plan is to come in here and give it all. Uh, win or lose, just leave it out there on the court. Never's a tough team, but uh, we got to battle them. Hey, that's a nice uh, video snippet. First time I actually see him smiling. That was just before the game. I think uh, he really hasn't touched the ball, and he has no attempts. I think the stats confirm it. So hasn't been as involved as the, uh, Coach Tim Cohen would like him to be so far. Uh, you see uh, Simpson. You know, he's been he's been the strongest or uh, the most dominant force of this series so far. But uh, still uh, a whimper coming from him so in, yes. in game number five. Daniels missing his first get shot. Frowning at the hoop. Made sure this time that it would fall in. And it's a six-point game. Barangay Hinebra has started this game with energy. Very different, yung nakita natin na Barangay Ginebra in games 1 and 2 compared to what we're seeing here. You know, it, it, talaga, when you start winning, it, bring, it builds better camaraderie and you can see it on the court right now for it the five guys on the floor. sort of spills over, right? In the meantime, Villanueva didn't know whether he would stay away, give the ice or provide the shield. Nice fake, but it's rejected. You don't reject him for long. Cortez managed to put up a second shot, but it was offline. 5.20 to go here in the first. 